back with the brand, brand new video. And today we're going to be working on our health script. Yeah. Okay. Right off the bat, let's create a canvas and create an empty. And we're going to rename it to health bar, like so. And we're going to add a slider. We're going to turn everything off and set everything to none. So it should only look like this. Next, inside, well, first, ah, let's set Let's set this to top left, position X 300, position Y negative 100, width 325, and 56.25, like so. Then we're going to create an image. We're going to call it fill. Now we're going to go back on the health bar and drag this into our fill. Correct. Then we're going to set the color to red or whichever color you want. I'm just choosing red. Then you're going to want to stretch it. Of course, we want to see what we're doing. Okay. Good enough. All right, so next we're going to create an empty. We're going to call it bar. Oh shoot, not an empty. Sorry, not empty. An image. And we're going to call it bar. We are going to set bar to middle center with 325, 56.25. And then we're going to go into project textures and I have added a brand new texture. So set it to default, sprite 2D and UI, set compression to none, point, and apply. Go into bar and set bar to bar. Now you have this. Next, we are going to go into our c sharp scripts create a script calling it health bar with no spaces and first thing we're going to want to declare that we're using ui so unity engine dot ui delete the void start and update functions public slider slider pub public gr gradient pretty I hope I spelled that correct I'm just gonna call it gradient public image I'm gonna call this our fill public void Set max health int health slider dot max value equals health slider dot value hope if I could spell value equals health. fill dot color equals our gradient dot evaluate like so set it to one F F stands for float public public 
void set health float health slider dot value equals health fill fill dot color equals ah, gradient dot evaluate slider dot normalized value like so. We're going to save, head back into Unity. And then click onto our health bar and click and drag in our health bar like so. Drag our health bar game object into a slider just so that we don't have to drag our slider into there. Add our fill. And then this is our gradient editor. This controls all, this controls the gradient. So what we're gonna do is 33.3, .3. that's gonna be red. 100% it's gonna be green. If I could find out how to what the what? What happened? What did I do? We can set this to fix and we can set the color red to fifty. That way we have a nice and even flow and done. Next, we are going to create an create a new C sharp script calling it player take damage. Wait for it to load. And then add our script onto our player. Why is there multiple? I have no clue. Edit the script. We're going to be using unity engine dot scene management. get rid of the comments because they really don't seem like anything much right now. Public int max health equals 100. Public int cur current health and don't set a value for it because we're already going to set it. It's pretty much useless. Public string level. So when we die, I want our scene to reload. So we're going to re so we're going to load our scene. Public health bar, health bar, like so. Go into your void start function, current health equals max health, health, health bar, dot set max health, max health. Go into your void update. If current health is less than or equals to zero, 
scene manager dot load scene level. Create a new void. Make sure it's make sure that's spelled correctly. Public void take damage and int damage. Current health minus equals damage. Health bar dot set health current health. Now, we will get to this in another video. I'm going to create this very this function right now so that we have it and we don't have to create it in the future. But or if you want to, you can you can use it. Anyways, public void medkit. Current health equals max health. Health bar dot set health. Current health. And now we can save this, head back into Unity, player, add our health bar, like so. And now, watch, we can set this to 50. It won't do anything, but if we set this to zero, oh, sorry. If we set current health to 50, it won't do anything, but if we set this to zero, it still won't do anything. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. This is being set to to where I can't explain it. So you can't move this in in the game during the game because this is only being set to this or max health. So which is why this isn't scrolling scaling like making the illusion of a health bar. But in the future, oh. Do we not have our build set? We do, but I, I I'm going to redo this. I'll I'll see you guys in brand new video. Bye.